First, give an honor to the creator of this universe and all that inhabits it, and to my mother, Shirley Hardy, the elder in my life. I greet you all in love and kindness. You are tuned in to Health Talk Health Wise. What's your illusion? What's your reality? Conscious Health Care Talk with Dr. K and friends on the airways of Inner Light Radio, the healing frequency. Our focus is with the three C's in life, choices, chances, and changes. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. You are listening to a live broadcast. You can email your questions or comments to innerlightsradio at yahoo.com. That's innerlightsradio at yahoo.com. You can call in with your positive conversation to share, 310-928-7733. That's 310-928-7733. Seven seven three three. We do ask that you mute your phone. You are entering a live chat room, and I will ask you to join the conversation by your phone number. You can also Facebook Brother Jamal. I'm Dr. Karen Davis, folks. They call me Dr. K, and I thank you for tuning into this show. For on this show, we honor all who have and all that will emancipate from medical mental slavery. Our message is: health is all about consciousness, and healing is a function of consciousness. So on this show, we invite you to relearn, rethink, and rewrite your very own personal health care prescription plan. So we welcome you to the Wellness Checkpoint. Now it's time to take the pulse of your thoughts. Joining me in the chat room is Wanda Whitaker, anchored in spirit, Pacifica, California. Rachel Pope with Let's Talk Wisdom, Blessings for Empire from Waldorf, Maryland. And once again, I'm Dr. K from Washington, D.C., Joining us tonight is uh, Corey Dunstan from Washington, D.C., owner of Secrets of Nature. He's my co-host as we welcome Tim Morrow, our other special guest tonight, to Washington, D.C. on November the 9th, 2013. We're having a program at the ARC called Conscious Self Healthcare Awareness Workshop. We're moving from disease care to conscious self health care, and we invite you to join us there. So we ask you to sit back, become a mass of your health and your life. Take a deep, deep breath. And listen here as we take this universal love ride about cellular ecology and conscious self-health care moves. Are you ready to sit back, take a look, and do something different? We're going to take a commercial break. I'm going to come back and talk to my friends. I'm going to bring my guests in. Thank you for tuning in. Is it time for a new approach to your health care? Are you ready to leave the dark ages of disease care management and pharmaceuticals? If your answer is yes, get ready to relearn, rethink, and rewrite your personal health care prescription plan with Dr. K. She is a certified lithologist and Nest health care provider, sharing the new signs of information as medicine and cellular ecology. Did you know that the field of epigenetics states that you are more than just your genes and those genes do not control your biology? Yes, that's correct. Schedule a Skype, phone, or office visit with Dr. K and get on board the Friendship Train to Healthcare Freedom. 202-248-7749. That's 202-248-7749. Visit us on the web. For com, the number four, the words sale, C E L L L I F E dot com. You are tuned into Health Talk. What's your reason? What's your reality? 
Conscious Health Care Talk with Dr. Kay and friends. We want to thank you for tuning in this evening. Again, our special guest is Coy Dunstan from Washington, D.C., and he is co-hosted with me as we bring Tim Morrow back to the Washington, D.C. area. You know, Coy and I have been uh, friends and working in this health care industry for, for myself. I've personally been knowing Coy for about 20 years. And I'm very thankful that I do. When I first came into the community as a nutritionist and I really wanted to learn a lot, there was Coy there. And so I'm thankful for the relationship that we have, for him always working with me to bring the best to our community, because that's what he's been doing for the past how many years, Coy? Thirty-five. Thirty-five years. So, Coy, share with the community that's listening in your whole approach to health care, what you're doing with the establishments that you have, and why you even in this line of field. And then we'll talk about bringing Tim to Washington, D.C., and then let Tim join us. Well, I started a long time ago. That was when I started with Nature Sunshine. And uh, that company has uh, given me the uh, opportunity to uh, address the uh, condition of the community that I live in, mostly uh, through the use of herbs and changing of the diet and uh, learning how to take care of the body. So through that, I have been able to uh, survive at this business starting out at, at uh, Secret, uh, Yours Naturally. It was down at 1014 14th Street in 1980, and we worked there for um, about 10 years downtown, and we had other locations. But uh, now I'm at 3923 South Capitol Street Southwest. But I got started in this business basically because of my mother. She was diagnosed with cancer of the breast and cancer of the uh, liver and cancer of the colon. And the doctors had given up on her, told her there was nothing they could do for her. And I didn't accept that, and that's the, that's how I got involved with the company Nature Sunshine. They gave me the information that I need to, to uh, determine how to heal the body on its, uh, how to aid the body in healing itself on its own. And from there, um, my mother lived 10 years after that, and I was convinced and sold on the idea that uh, how we live and uh, what we do with, it, with our lives is totally up to us, and it's just a matter of making a decision to make the change. And uh, when I saw what happened with my mother, I, I began to do it myself, and I've been doing it ever since. So I'm thankful that I've been able to do what I do, and uh, it's been a, a, a very rewarding for me to uh, assist many people through the process of healing themselves. And the biggest problem I find with it is that you have to change your mind. <laughs> and uh, if you if you're sick, uh, you got to do something different. You can't keep doing the same thing expecting a different result. And um, uh, the message is getting through, and I'm still able to deliver that message, and I'm thankful. And that is the message that we deliver here. Health is all about consciousness, and healing is a function of consciousness. And that's where it starts. How you doing, Wanda? I'm doing great, Karen. I'm doing fantastic. I took a little rest today. Wonderful. I'm feeling kind of lost, Wanda, because I'm not on Skype, so I just feel like I'm missing something, you know? I just, like, I, I can't <laughs> see my peeps, and so I'm trying to get this vibration to even out here because, you know, I just feel like I'm just lost, but I'm going to center my stuff and take a deep breath and realize I can see everybody. So you know Coy, don't you, Wanda? Yeah, I do. I, I've met Coy, and uh, I just love what he's doing. I've heard a lot about him in the D.C. area, even from my niece. <laughs> she's like 21 years old. She knows about Coy <laughs> and what he's doing. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Love it. So, you know, we're excited. Coy and I, we're going to be hosting Tim here, and we're doing our third uh, Inner Journey Health Forum. Uh, at this event with some local practitioners. And Coy Wanda just got finished doing the second one in uh, San Francisco, um, the Conscious Self Health Care Move, moving from disease care to conscious self health care. We're having these forums in the community so that we can assist people with understanding about conscious self health care. It's really, really time, right, as Coy said, to make a choice, to make a change, to use your consciousness. Got to do something different. Correct. Yeah, Carrie, I just want you to know you sound fantastic. I uh, sound fantastic. Maybe I ought to be on the phone all the time. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I 
uh, and the other thing too, you know, Mercury's retrograde, so just ride the wave. You know. Oh, of course. We, <laughs> you know, we're we're electrical beings. That's the That's first right. thing that we have to realize as we make this shift. We are energetic beings, and we do want to support from the energetic realm because that is what actually controls the physiological processes of the body. You know, but we got to take care of the physical body too, and that's what Tim and Coy does. And so, Rachel, how are you doing before I bring Tim in to join the conversation? Well, I'm in the healing zone. I've been rescuing people this week since the last I talked to you. Um, but one one of the greatest things I want to say that did take place Saturday is I got a chance to be involved with the community of cleaning the pond out. And I was very pleased with that because we didn't we didn't know who need to be you know the person we need to talk to, but we ran across someone that knew and she'd been walking with us the hummingbird lady and I got to participate and I was so grateful to be involved in making the turtles and the fish happy and um, here I am at my cousin's who requests for me to come today. She had foot surgery, so like Koi said, that mindset, I'm dealing with that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that was good, though, Reggie, because that's what it is. You know, you got out into nature, you cleaned up nature. I think Wanda put something out uh, about nature this week yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, she did. You know? And so um, being out there and making an environment clean for nature to be in, so yeah. that's what we have to do to our bodies. We have to begin to clean up our bodies and clean up right. our minds. Is that correct? Yes, Rachel, you know Koi, right? I'm about to talk about Koi because, um, let's see, Koi don't know it, but I've been um, aware about him like 10 years ago. He came into my life without me meeting him directly. But Andy Evans, uh, Koi, remember Andy, the comedy yes, cancer? Yes, yes. He helped me in my journey of healing from the, the cellular malfunction they call cancer. And he, he brought some of your things to my location to um, change my mindset, concerned about, you know, um, the moss. I think it's called moss or juice. It was green. And uh, he had me to drink that. <laughs> he introduced that to me. And the energy, uh, not energy, the uh, ginger candy. Yeah. So I had a little sweet, too, so that was my sweets. <laughs> Yeah, so you played a part in them, them collard greens that you make. Yes. <laughs> so I knew about your food and the nutrition before I actually got to to meet you in person. I think I met you doing one of Aya's events a long time ago. Uh, yeah. I wasn't aware of that. That's right. <laughs> <know>. Yeah. <laughs> And then that's I the community here. staying connected. Yeah, with, that's the community Dr. staying K. connected. <laughs> that's what I really got to know you with Dr. K. Yeah. Got to talk to you one on one, and I've been bringing people over, my friends, to change their mindset. We sat down and enjoyed your food. Remember that? Okay. Yeah. And Dr. K. Remember I got choked. Well, when I ate. <laughs> Well, that? yeah, because Carol right. Coy makes this tell yeah. everybody that it surely, truly has some cayenne pepper in it that's going to really help your body circulate. That's fire. You need some fire. You I need some fire. That <laughs> <laughs> came with laughing at me. I was sorry. <laughs> if I was lighter, I would have turned red. I was just <laughs> to uh so Coy Coy has a restaurant. That's what we're talking about too. Uh yeah. so I'm gonna let Coy to talk a little bit about the <laughs> restaurant and then Jamal I'm gonna take a, a commercial break and then we're gonna bring in um Tim so Tim can share yeah. with us a little bit. <laughs> so Coy you have a restaurant and you sell what kind of food are you preparing for our community that's real food. <laughs> yeah we call it sun fired sun fired food. And it's designed to get the body to wake up the cells and get them to empty out all the garbage in the cells and so they can function properly. And, uh, th you know, I mentioned my mother, and that was a big part of, of getting getting her uh, over the cancer, the initial stages of cancer. And uh, you have to change the diet. And that process that 
I went through with my mother is the same process that I use in the restaurant. Use primarily the you know the juicing, the the uh, raw foods, and uh, eating good the healthy foods close to the close to the soil. You know that you you want to eat grains, nuts, seeds, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables uh, right out of the ground if you can when they are ripe, and that will do more for your body than any other thing that I can say or do. But uh, we have a hard time with that because we feel like we can't do it because we're in the city. But it's not necessarily because you live on concrete that you can't grow your own food. And I, I try to get people to do that. And if they can't, they can always come and enjoy what I do. <laughs> Eat the best. And that food. is truly correct. Yeah. That is truly, truly correct. I go over there and get my kale when I don't feel like making it, and because I really can't make it like Coy make it, because he makes that sun hot. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> to wake up the body. Yeah. So, you know, like we're saying, family here, we're talking about conscious self health care, and it begins with recognizing that you do not have diseases, that you cannot inherit a disease, and you cannot create a disease unless you say so. So when we talk about diseases on this show, we call them cellular malfunctions because that's what you can create, a cellular malfunction because you're not properly taking care of the body. So there are no diseases. There's cellular malfunctions. It's starting consciousness, and we're talking about making a change. So we're going to take a station break, and we're going to come back and talk to Tim, and Tim is going to tell us how to do it. <laughs> All right. This October, join Gallery 1307 and take an inner journey of creativity, art, and healing with two great events, the Arts Cafe and Art with Mozart. The Arts Cafe features spoken word, healing crystal singing bowls, music with positive lyrical content, an open mic featuring local talent, a healing arts gallery, and live art. For the open mic segment, bring your voice, instrument, or spoken word piece for a boost of pure positive energy. Engage with visual artists and meet alternative healers, massage therapists, astrologers, and intuitives. Enjoy the display of art by Wanda K. Whitaker and Paula Hobsoncord. Admission is $5 with great gifts of ISIS door prizes. Then, the next week, on Sunday, October 27th, celebrate Mercury Retrograde and awaken the artists within you with Art with Mozart. Listen to Mozart music and bring your favorite drink as you create your favorite work of art on your favorite medium through instruction and inner visualization. That's Sunday, October 20th, the Arts Cafe, and Sunday, October 27th, Art with Mozart, from 2 to 5 p.m. at Gallery 1307, located at 1307 Fillmore Street in San Francisco, California. Plenty of street and public parking available. For more information, visit www.anchoredinspirit.com. That's www.anchoredinspirit.com. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeed, the community, you are tuned into Health Talk Health Wise. You're talking to Dr. K, Coy Dunstan from Washington, D.C., Wanda Whitaker, Pacifica, California, Rachel Pope, and Waldorf, Maryland. And now we're going to have Tim Morrow from the University of Common Sense come in and join us. You know, I came to Interlight Radio about two years ago, and um, I was really excited. I just turned on the station and listen in on Tim Morrow's show, Common Sense University. And I'm like, wow, he sounded like me. Or maybe I'm sounding like him because uh, the energy is in the air. And, you know, you pick up on those high vibrations. And I was just so excited to have someone, to hear someone speak like me. You don't have any diseases, telling you exactly what's going on in your body and telling his story of how he made his journey to where he is and uh, letting people realize that they just, lost some common sense, and maybe they might want to pick it up again and do something different. <laughs> like Tim. And see, Tim got a YouTube channel called Common Sense Family, and I'm telling you, every video 
out there will help you reach this level that you want to reach. When you watch Tim and his videos and he just make it plain, he talks so easy, so down to earth to you that you just be sitting there listening and don't even realize the time that went by and you're getting all that information. So, Tim, we're excited to have you back in Washington, D.C. You and Coy are longtime friends, and so y'all are <laughs> going to get to see each other. Y'all ain't seen each other in a while. And so I was like, I went to Tim, I went to Coy, I say, Coy, Tim is coming through town. We got to get together and have him here and do an event. And, you know, Coy just said immediately, yes. So, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Tim, welcome yeah. back to Health Talk Health Wise. Well, thank you so much for inviting me, Coy, that you're out there. Thank you guys for, 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 for doing what you're doing. I've just been sitting here listening and just enjoying myself. And like you, Dr. K, I was just happy to hear somebody saying the same thing that I said. I, I remember one time reading a book about a woman who lived in the, well, 150 years ago. And I was reading her book. Her name is Ellen White. And, oh, wow, yeah. and I was reading her book. And in her book, she's talking about help. In some places, she was saying the exact same words that I, that I use, you know. I and I said to God, I said, wait a minute. God, how could this woman who lived 150 years before me be saying the same thing I'm saying? He said, truth never changes, Tim. Mm. Truth I never changes. Mm. Yeah, a mm. thousand years from today, they'll be saying the same thing that you're saying, Dr. K, same thing that I'm saying, because truth never changes. You know, when, when I met Koi Wei, more than 30 years ago. And he was doing and saying the same thing that I was saying. And we talked with each other. And we came up with the same conclusion. Truth never changes. That's the wonderful thing about this field is, you know, you're talking about those uh, those uh, videos that I have on YouTube. Classics. They're, they are as timely today mm -hmm. as they were the day that I put them on there. Oh, yes. And they'll never change because the information is the same. The body doesn't change. The body needs the same thing all the time. And when you give it to it, it replies to you. I don't know. You know, Koi, I'm, I'm 80 now. Oh, God. My health, my health is better than it's ever been in my life. Oh, yeah. Which blows the theory that growing old and growing sick are synonymous. I, I grow better, right? <laughs> I, ro I, I roller skated three miles this morning. That was, my, that was my exercise for the morning. I walked a mile and I roller skated three miles and I biked for six miles. But, Tim, you know what's happening here in Washington, D.C.? You know, I have your picture, and, and the picture that I'm using is a picture when you were 79 years old. And so they want to look at your picture. They want to say, no, nah, he's not 80 years old. But I tell people, that's true. That's how he looks. But the main thing about it is family community. You can look good, as Tim look in this picture, and your internal body can be sick as I don't know what. And I say to them that the difference in Tim is Tim looks good externally, but Tim feels good internally. Tim said he got the body biological clock of a what? 40-year-old. Say, how you feel, Tim? <laughs> I, feel, I feel so good I want to tell somebody. <laughs> That's not good. I feel, but, but the whole point is feeling good. But, you know, what I've done is I've made it my business to do something about feeling good. Because I realized and looked at what happens to people who don't take care of themselves, and they end up awards of courts or the wards of somebody else, and they mistreat those people. They mistreat the elderly big time. I don't want to be a part of that. I, I don't. I don't want to have. I don't want anybody to have to apologize for mistreating me. So I'm not going to show up at your facility. I'm going to take care of myself. I love the way I feel and the things that I do. And so you have priorities, and the priority is to do what you want to do. I like how Morgan Freeman said it. He says, do what you got to do so you can do what you want to do. <laughs> well, and what we got to do, Wanda. Yeah, and, and and what you're doing, Dr. K, back there is just, I'm sitting here listening to you as you talked about who you are and what you are about, and 
that's that's what I'm about. I just want people to to me making helping people to feel good and listening to their testimony. I could do that all day. I would never be bored with people's testimony going from totally ill to totally well. Coy, he did that with his mother. Look, he gave her he gave her ten extra years of life, of, yeah. of good life. You know, yeah. he you have to be happy with that. You have to be happy with yourself. You did what you could do when you could do it. I've, I've had to apologize to God by the way I treated myself the first half century of my life. But when he enlightened me, I really use it. That same lady, Ellen White, said, once said, I am convinced that the mind of man should, like the sun, grow larger at its setting and shed the most beautiful light at the period of its decline. Mm. That, that's what we should do. That light should be so beautiful as we grow older that the younger generation gathers that light and uses it to the glory of God. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's give us this chance to live on the planet and in this body. Medicine has got us afraid to live inside of our own body. And we've got wow. no other place to live. You're supposed to glorify God through your body. That's all you own. That's all you brought here. That's all you're going to take away from here. <laughs> Tim, you, you make that so easy. Wanda, when Tim talks about that light, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Wanda, very, what, Wanda, you know Tim. Tim, you listen to Tim's show. Tim, oh, this absolutely. is Wanda. <laughs> yeah, I Wanda. Right, right, Tim. You know, Tim, you talk about that light, and and that is so true. At the end of life, the uh, light should be very bright. Yeah. And a lot of the times it is, but it is not noticed. Yes, it is. Okay. It's so yeah. bright because yeah. we we're so much wiser. Yes. yes, we were. Even when we're sick, we're wiser, saying to ourselves, wow, if I could have just lived the life that I wanted to live. Yeah. Remember, if I could have just treated myself better. Yeah. Knowing that yes. the body is the house in which one lives. It's yes. The temple. Yes. It's the temple of God. The temple, that's right. It's the temple. Uh, it's, it's the temple. The belong. It belongs. We're to return it to the, to the lesar, minus wear and tear. In the That's best right. shape that we can, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I'm afraid that I'm afraid. I'm afraid that you know. I listen to these Bible-toting Christians talking about their mm-hmm. new body and what they want. This I'm just waiting for my new body. Well, I want that new body also, but I I have to live my life here, like maybe my new body is going to be given to me by the rewards of what I did with the old one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Coy, yeah. wait a minute. So Coy, I wanted to ask Coy. I'm gonna let Rachel come in, but Coy and and taking care of that foundation of the body, the 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 uh, uh, bringing your body back into uh, balance uh, for itself. What is uh, what is the approach that you uh, uh, suggest to people to um, begin to do? To we know it starts in consciousness, so. Uh, they're doing that, and now they have to get the body aligned with what they know about their soul self. And so, well, you have to learn what the body needs. The, the body your body, needs right? <laughs> your body. You have to learn what your body needs. But everybody needs the same thing. You mm-hmm. gotta have uh, good carbohydrates, the complex carbohydrates I call them. You gotta have essential fats, the right fats, as good fats and bad fats. You have to learn what they are. And you have to learn how to keep your body in a pH that's uh, conducive to health. And you got to keep uh, your stress level down. Because stress, shock, trauma, all of that is what really destroys us. And we have to learn how to make sure that we don't go into a place where we have too much stress, too much trauma on the body. And that can come from not only accidents or, or, or illness. It can come from just how you think. And you have to make time to take care of yourself and give your body time to recuperate. All of those things are important. And and you have to eat right, number one. Now, that, that, that would have to put that at the top of the list. Number one, you have to learn how to eat right, but that's part of learning what your body needs. You don't need a lot of the things that we eat 
most of the things that we eat are poison, and we have to get learn how to get them out of our lives and replace them with things that we need so that we can now uh, have a, a productive life, like 80 years old and biking or, or, or skating three miles. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Sure. Well. laughs> Tell it like it is. <laughs> Yeah, no, we got to come out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm so excited to bring Tim to talk to the seniors and everybody else. Because if you're 40, where you where you think you're going to be when you turn 50? If you're 50, where you going to be when you turn 60? And if you're 70, where you going to be when you turn 80? You can start at any age. You can start right now and make a difference and be renewed in 30 days. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Absolutely. It doesn't take the body long to do what it needs to do once you do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you said something a while ago, though. You said something a while ago, Corey, that really makes the difference. It's your mindset. Absolutely. Your Absolutely. mindset. It's If you everything. think you're old, you're old. Yes. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's the mindset changes everything. And it's very basic. It's very simple. You know, haven't you ever had a job to do that you were dreading doing for a week? And one morning you wake up and go, what's the matter with me? Why don't I just get up and get this done and get it out of the way? In an hour, it's done and out of the way. And you'd be surprised what, what, at how much that lifts off of you, that stress, I, that stress exactly. you turn around. Exactly. Because you, you procrastinate. And That's procrastination right. is the... Is uh, oh destroy yeah. yeah, but look at that. The only thing that changed was your mind. The job remained the same. Yeah. <laughs> you know you what I'm saying? You got to do it. Yeah. It's changing you your mind. <laughs> That's what I try to tell people about taking herbs. Well, the best way to take herbs is the way they grow out in the field. But where they used to grow, there's a a, a, a twenty story building and a five acre parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> concrete. <laughs> So the next best thing is take it in the form of the pill. You know what I'm saying? But to me, but take it. The Unless you got a better choice, and if you got a better choice, it's you can do better. that. But yeah, most of us don't. Yeah. But let's face it: the best is not available. We're always choosing the lesser of the evil. Yeah. yeah. But choose the less of the evil. Don't <laughs> stand there. It's all about what y'all guys saying, taking a chance to make a choice and do something different. I just want to listen to the audience to know that you're listening to Health Talk Health Wise. What's your illusion? What's your reality? Conscious Health Care Talk with Dr. K and Friends. And we're talking about the Conscious Self Health Care Awareness Workshop that's coming to Washington, D.C. that's hosted by myself and Coy Dunstan. We're bringing Tim Morrow from the University of Common Sense. We'll be here November the 9th. That's a Saturday. We're going to be at the ARC over on Mississippi Avenue. That's 1901 Mississippi Avenue, Washington, D.C., from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're going to have the Inner Health Journey Forum with local practitioners in the community. We're going to be there to assist you with answering all the questions that you have for yourself to help you realign your human self with your soul self and start doing something different for the physical body because truly family community, it is not matter over mind, it's mind over matter. And you are energetic light being and it's time that we start living from our soul self, the heart of who we are. Heart to heart. And so I'm gonna let well, Rachel come in and say a few me. words. I'm gonna let Rachel come in and say a few words and then when she gets through, uh, Jamal, we're gonna take a station break and come back and let us chat. And I really feel like I wanna be on Skype. <laughs> You on Skype. You are totally on point, girlfriend. You must read what I written. Yeah, I know Rachel hand was going up saying, I want to talk, I want to talk. Rachel, she's got to go past her comfort zone. That's the only thing. Like we tell everybody else, right? That's right. Yes. Because yeah. I was writing, I said, maybe Karen can see this. <laughs> yeah, I tuned in. I put up my tuned energetic in. antennas. <laughs> uh, yeah, my hand was up, and I was jumping, and I ran to the door, asked my cousin, get on the computer. You need to listen to this. This man was rollerblading for three hours. 
<laughs> While you were talking, I was delivering a message, you know. Kill the coin. At 80, know that. Yes, at 80. That's what she said. Oh, wow. And I said, she ain't going to do it, but I'm going back to my zone. But anyway, I just want to. I want Koi and Tim, everybody up here is on the same page because it really starts with the mind. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. And you know what? And I've written up here, Kay, I said, be a service for others. This is why Tim was speaking. And then I said, I love listening to wisdom. He is so right. And I put thumbs up. But Ooh. I just see how I point you on. So I, <laughs> I, I did something recently. Um, I had this dream of my, a dear friend that passed away. And he says, he said to me, don't worry, I'm right here. And then the, that morning, I was so disturbed by it, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I went back and looked at my Facebook. Normally, I always say, you know, how can I be a service for you or, you know, what can I do for you? And I forgot to put that in my little um, bio thing. So I went back and I said, is there a video out that can show that? Because I like putting out lapis therapy news alert for the soul and the body and the mind. I put out positive things, trying to promote the act of kindness. And then there was this video concerned about service. And Kay, let me tell you something. The man that was in the video, he was impatient. Traffic, little boy crossing the, the path of his car, backing out. And the woman who took his parking spot, you know how some people are impatient and they're blabbing out, cussing at people and stuff. But there was a message for everything. And he won't send the message, you know. It, it was all about him. And even when he went to Starbucks, a man cut right in front of him. And then when it got to him, he wanted his coffee, but he had to wait. And then, lo and behold, this man showed up, looked just like my friend, uh, the security and the master of chess, handed him this um, eyeglass case, and it said service on it. And he put on the glasses, and when he put on the glasses, when you look at the person, it tells what the issue is about for that day. The young boy needed time to be cared for. The young lady who got apart, someone just told her that she, she broke up with him and stuff like this. All these messages, every time he put on the glasses, looked at that person. He said, well, what I got to do about that? You know what? I can't do nothing about this. He walk out the door. He sees this person open the door with two kids. They just needed a hug. And, but you know what? When he saw the little boy and it said that he just needs somebody to care for him because his parents was never home, hardly. And he got the message. He left the eyeglass case open, and it says, got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> got it. So he said, let go of the stress. You got it. You let go of the thoughts. You got it. <laughs> I said, now listen to Tim talk about this. And I said, all I saw was a video, and I couldn't wait to share it. I said, who is that? I said, you got it. everybody who's listening from meetup.com, from the mastermind, go to mm. my Facebook and see that video. And it is it's about changing the mindset so the body and everything could be in balance and heal. You would know That's exactly what it is. is. You know That's it. Where it at. That's the word that they're putting out there with that term epigenetics to yeah. let you know that you're thinking through your consciousness to control your physiological processes of the Man. body. Rachel, you always have the stories, and that's why we say Man. let's talk with Rachel Pope. Man, wait a minute. <laughs> Wanda, you wait. hear that? Did you hear that wait. story she just told about the video? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been on point with that drink, and that made 3 o'clock in the morning and got choked. Wait a minute. Hold up. What was that about? And then I wound up finding what it was about. You know, because I forgot to say that, you know, well, how can I help you today? You know, but Coy and Tim and everybody, I heard my cousin say, uh, they always say, take an aspirin a day. No, that don't keep uh, the doctor away. That bring the doctor. We're going to take a commercial. <laughs> we're going to take a commercial break and we're going to come back and tell you like a TTT I really is. We don't want to take no aspirin a day. Help me. Help me. I'm a natural product. Right. right, we want to take that natural product where it came from. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go back and hear this. Break it down before we come back.
Are you at your wit's end because there seems to be no solution to your health care problem? Is it okay for me to say to you that you can have peace of mind, take back control of your health? Are you experiencing anxiety, arthritis, diabetes, cancer, fibromyalgia, high blood pressure, lupus, chronic fatigue syndrome, any fictitious disease? Whatever your symptoms or diagnosis are, there is a conscious solution to transform the cause of your pain, not treat symptoms or mask it. No prescription medication, no over-the-counter drugs, no organs removed are required. Take back control of your health by the renewing of your mind. You can create wellness today. Contact Dr. K. 202-248-7749 Visit us on the web www the number 4 the word sell c-e-l-l-l-i-f-e dot com That's correct family That's it You're listening to Health Talk Health Wise This is Dr. K I got a few friends on the line with us and we're sharing with you to let you truly know that uh, you want to step back you want to step away, you want to leave the pharmaceuticals alone, they're not kind, they're not kin, they do not support the human body in any aspect except for to break it down. And that's why we say that you are creating an organized self-breakdown of your cells, and you can correct them by choosing the right source and choosing the right fuel and leaving pharmaceuticals alone over-the-counter, prescription pharmaceuticals, however you want to look at it, they do not support the body. They break the body down. And so I'm a conscious health care practitioner, and I support you with letting go of medication and will assist you with how to do that. We're replacing that medication with truly what your organs are required, and that's herbal supplements and being close to planet Earth and eating the best foods. And, Tim, I like what you say because you say growing old does not make us sick. It's growing sick that makes us old. But you also say in uh, a paper that I read of yours, you said if a well person takes a pharmaceutical and it makes them sick, why do a sick person think that a pharmaceutical is going to make them well, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> and that that's true, but but I I the, the thing is I am using my sense of reasoning, which you're not supposed to do, I guess. But my sense of reasoning is if 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 a drug will make a well person sick, how can it make a sick person well, because that's all in my, if you jump out of the 40th story, that'll kill you. If you jump out of the second story, that won't cure you. <laughs> you, you, you see what, what I'm saying is I'm, I'm going to use my ability to reason, but it seems like that's against the law because, because look at what they tell us on television. They tell you that this drug will cause you to have a stroke, a heart attack, and death, and the sale of drugs have gone up. What yeah, about the ability to reason? What that, about the ability to reason? What happened to the common sense? Yeah. What What happened to our common sense? I believe them when they tell me that. You I don't believe think, everything they it, say? Yeah. They, they, <laughs> listen, they wouldn't tell you that unless they had to. They're made to tell you that. Otherwise, they wouldn't say one word. And so I believe what they say and the people that I see, most of them are victims of medicine. I don't know whether you guys look at this or not, but it's something that you need to really look at. I don't hear much talk about it, but it's called iatrogenics. <laughs> Remember Tell what that is? It. Tell Doc about it, Tim. Doctor-induced diseases. And far from some baser charts to embarrass doctors, doctors named that term. There's more than 4 million cases a year of people being readmitted into the hospital for something that the doctor calls. And more than 1 million of us die each year from iatrogenic. In fact, that word translated from Latin to English means made sick by the healer. 
you got to remember whether we know it or not, that's what we're working on. We're working on people who have been made sick by medicine, and you've got to overcome what they've done. And this is not an easy task because, believe it or not, the, 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 Obama, the Obamacare mm. is actually going to call for more drugs because when people have to pay for uh, insurance, they're going to go see the doctor. Well, and, I'm not going to pay for no insurance, Tim, and I'm not going to go see the doctor, so I'm going to be in violation. <laughs> no, I, I, no, you don't have to be in violation. You can just pay the fine. I ain't paying no fine either. I'm going to be in violation. <laughs> you can pay the fine, you know what I'm saying? But don't, but don't fix it so you got to buy more drugs. You're going to get more drugs and more sick. Somebody has got to deliver us from iatrogenics. Stop going to the doctors. No, let me stop. No, yeah, but that's seriously. True. <laughs> that's true. You are the doctor. Stop taking the drugs. Stop losing your organs. You're not a machine. Yeah, yeah. that's right. We're not a machine. No, we're we not. are not a machine. But we're treated like we are, and machines yeah. can measure humans. No, Where, technology. Where's, where's this machine that can measure a human? Let me tell you something. If God left that machine here, you go for it. But when man makes a machine, he makes it in his favor. Mm-hmm. You tell me, tell me about the blood pressure machine, and mm. who, who's to say at the time that you took your blood pressure that maybe that's what he should have read? Your body is very adaptive; it knows what to do. We are not average people, and we should not be measuring ourselves on an average and 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 saying that you are within these numbers. That yeah. doesn't make wow. you healthy, yeah, you know. Sure but uh, Coy, but Coy, when 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 people come into, or oh, Tim, I mean, but Coy, I know people have this illusion that they can have a disease, and and they're going to treat the disease with a herb. So that is an illusion, isn't it, Coy? Because herbs don't work on the name of a disease. No, of a disease that doesn't no exist. The so when they come for the herbs, they really come in for herbs to support what their their body organs, Coy. And they just yeah. can't get it together in their mindset. Well, they're really giving the body what it needs. It's herbs are the, the natural foods that's provided by this universe for us to heal ourselves. And if you take them, that will happen. The problem is, is we don't understand sometimes that process. And the doctor told you one thing, and I'm telling you another, and we get confused. But if you just uh, let your body do what it's supposed to do, it will correct itself, and you will be fine. But be, because we have this notion that the doctor said that we should take this drug or that prescription drug or whatever, we have this confusion about what it takes for the body to heal itself, and we remain sick and diseased. And that's why But, Corey, they a, call that integration or integrating. They're saying you can do the drug and you do the herb and you eat a little bit and well, then your body's going to get well, but the drug yeah. is going to always do what to the body? It's going to inhibit the herb from doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Basically they they, they want to tell you that the herb is innate, but it's the drug that's inert. It, it's not going to allow the body to correct itself. Exactly. If you use them together, it's going to cancel out each other, and you're going to remain sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's and that's the problem: is that you're going to remain you're going to remain sick, never getting well. I mean, and and they doctor, you know, you go to the doctor, they say four things: we don't know what caused it, there's no cure for it, you're going to have to learn to live with it, and that'll be five hundred dollars. <laughs> That's the four things they're going to say to you. That's what they say about everything. And, and that's then it's so hard to overcome. Because, yes. You know, you listen to what the doctors say, and you're yeah. saying something totally different, and people just can't make that transition. But you know, know, Wanda, you, but you know what, Wanda, in their knowingness, when they know who they are, they know that the soul self governs the physical body, and they will stop listening to brain activity and start listening to what activity, Wanda? From the heart. From the heart. Soul activity. I do have a question, though. Go and ahead. That is, and this is a question for everybody, uh, with the advent of the new technology, what they, what they call digital health, <clears throat> they're coming out with all kinds of mobile apps to help the uh, population, just the individual, monitor their health, their own health. What do you guys think about that, and what do you know about it? I still think that there's only one thermometer for our health. 
the way you feel. There is no other thermometer for your health. You can get as technical as you want to. But remember, that, te- that, that technicality, you've got to have a machine to plug into, you know. Suppose you're in the wilderness. What do you plug your, what do you plug it into? But you're still sick. And it's, the body will repair itself. Nothing else can. You know, I, I, I suggest urge for people to think they take it, they get well, and they give me the credit. God makes me look good. He, he makes me look good by making them well and giving me the credit. You are the only person on earth that can heal you. No matter how much I want to, I cannot, and I know that. But you can, and that's what this is all about. How do you feel? It doesn't matter about all this technology. How do you feel? I'm in, I'm in agreement with that, uh, Tim, and it is go, goes back to what Karen said about the soul. It's connecting with your soul self and knowing that you are well and that the body can heal itself. It has all the pharmacies, uh, pharmaceutical drugs that you need are inside the body. That's right. And, and most doctors, they know that. But what it is, people want to be healed right away, and they yeah. can if they have the mindset which is mind, meaning minding the store, they have the mindset to do that, and that involves an inner journey. Exactly. You know, you know man, look, man creates technology from nature. Yes. Every piece of technology out there came from them looking into nature. The greatest instrument they look into is you, yourself, the human body. They can get down to the DNA of it, but they can't get down to the DNA of it. Well, Karen, because that's yes. you, and that's who you are, and that's through your heart vibration. There is a field of energy that we're all connected to. And so when you talk about modern apps and things like that, I'm a Nest Health practitioner. I use the Nest voice, the Nest uh, ProVision system. But the thing about it is it's reading your human body field. You are energy, light, and information. I'm not telling you anything that you have not done and told to your own body with the system that I use. So I'm thankful for the technology that we have now because it proves that you are more than just your genes. And it proves that your, your being, your physical, your material being is governed by the soul of who you are. So when they say look inside at your soul, your soul is carrying and driving this body. This body is just a coat that you're in, and you're going to lay it down one day. So how well do you want to live in it? So there are rules that govern the physical body while you're walking around in it, but it is definitely driven by the soul of who you are. And that energy cannot be sick. That energy is not disease. That energy is pure love and light. Yeah. Well, I think it goes back to, uh, go ahead, Rachel, I'm going to let you come in. You've been trying to come in. <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm allow you to do that. Thank you very much. I was um, agreeing with Dr. K and, and definitely you, Tim, concerned about the power from within, and we were blessed with that, that that secret, that, that, that energy that's balled up in all of us, if we can just put it to use in the right way. We all have it if we tune into it and then be still and silent, as we always say, be in the zone and love ourselves. And and like Kay said, her nest and and I have the biomat, but it's it's not that that's nope. doing that. It, it's mm-hmm. the being within you, that energy you sharing with that person. A lot of people like to be validated and appreciated, you know. And I notice that when people come to me and I sit there and listen, and I listen to all the negativity, and then once they're done, mm-hmm. I give them a little positive of me. <laughs> You know, I, I, y'all know I got a lot of positive <laughs> vibration and energy to give out. And as, as, as the wizard said, I have a lot of vitality in me. And I said, hmm, I know I do. I need to use it more, don't I, the right way. <laughs> but Wanda, that was, <laughs> I hear you, but Wanda, that was a good question that you brought up to um, bring into question. what we're doing right now. I know we're coming yeah. close to the end of the show. Oh, we and before we um, end the show, and since I have two powerful Brother's on the line with me, and um, there's a shift that's happening in the community. There are more and more brothers beginning to come and have colon cleansing sessions. 
And I really wanted both of you to address that and how important it is because when you stop the medication, you start using the herbs, you change your diet, you change your thinking, and you feel like you're just not there yet. Could it be that you still have matter stuck all up in your body and you just need to have that uh, colon hydrotherapy session, that colonic cleansing session, uh, Tim, Coy? <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm with I'm I'm with you 100% on that. It it uh, it is a process. You you have to get this out. You don't just stop taking it and poof you're well. You have to undo what you've done. All this stuff that we've put in the drugs, the chemotherapy, the radiation, or whatever else that we put in this. Yeah, there's a process. It's called a healing crisis. But it's okay to go through because you're undoing what you're doing. And sometimes you can tell in your cleansing exactly where you are, mm. where, you, where, where all this started, and, and how it's going to end up. I just I love the fact that you can measure where you are by where you've been. So mm -hmm. that's what I was about. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to close with, with, with a saying that, that we all need to hear. And that is that we are never to end our day without doing something for somebody who cannot repay you. Mm. Mm. I like that. Mm. That's true. Oh, giving and yeah. receiving. That's the truth. Yeah. Coy, what would you like to um, leave with? Well, I would uh, add to that that uh, death begins in the colon. Your colon <laughs> is where your blood comes from. It's where your uh, cells are nourished. And if you've got a dirty colon, you're going to have a dirty mind and a dirty body. <laughs> Make it plain, <laughs> Coy. Make it plain. <laughs> <laughs> so cleaning the colon is, is the essence of the health. And you, you have to understand how to do that and wh why it's necessary to do that in order to uh, Come, uh, repair your body or uh, to give your body a chance to repair itself. And that's what uh, I try to work on with most people. you got to get it out before you can put it in. <laughs> <laughs> all that right. is too powerful notes to leave on. I want to thank you all for tuning in, and I really do want you to please join us in Washington, D.C. on November the 9th at the Arc from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., we are having Tim Morrow. Coy will be there with the food. I will be there along with our panel. They will be there to assist you. Conscious Self Health Care Awareness Workshop. We're talking family community about moving from disease care to conscious self health care. It's all about self care. We want to help you know how to take better care of your human self. And that's what it's all about. You can get yeah, tickets yeah. from Coy or you can get them from myself. Thank you, Wanda. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> yes, everybody go out and do an act of kindness. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't Thank you, mind. Jamal. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Thank you all for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And know I that health is all about consciousness, and healing is a function of consciousness, and your true self, your energetic self, cannot be sick nor disease. Don't know anything about it. Get out of the brain and get into the heart. And come get on board our friendship train. Yeah, yeah. Greetings and love and kindness, family. This is Dr. K. Thank you so very much for tuning in to Health Talk HealthWise. What's your illusion? What's your reality? Conscious Healthcare Talk with Dr. K and friends right here every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Look forward to seeing and hearing from you on next Tuesday. Become our friend on Facebook, Dr. Cameron Davis, folks, and like our page, Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery. Tune into our YouTube channel, K Davis F, and visit our website, www the number four sale life c e l l l i f e dot com. We also invite you to tune into Frank Talk Real Talk with host Reverend Dorita Dixon every Monday at seven thirty p.m. And the Sage and Baby Boomer Show with host Ayo Handy Candy. That's every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And right back to Health Talk Health Wise every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. 